Hey everyone, and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing part three of our video series of Crafter Square making the teddy bear. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So you guys, in part one and two, we created the arms, the legs, the head and the body and today we're going to be continuing doing um, the ears and the snout so um, I just a little background this is made for lefties if you want to see the righty video um, go click on the playlist at the end of this video um, and you'll get like the list of all the characters that Crafter Square has put out in these crochet kits. Um, and that I think is a three part video as well. So in this kit, it comes with everything that you need to make this character. Um, I am not going to be using the plastic beads. I'm going to be sewing on the eyes because the plastic beads are a choking hazard. And then here is the um, hook and the needle that you'll need to um, create the teddy bear. So where we left off in the last video, we ended up um, completing step four, which is the crochet body. And last but not least, we are going to do the ears, the mouth, and then um, we're going to assemble it. So obviously for the ears, you're going to need two of them. I did do the ear off camera, so um, you can always pause the video or replay it to do the second ear. Um, but I'll just be moving on um, doing the, the mouth after the ear. So I'm going to set my little pieces aside in case you didn't see it yet. This is my teddy bear. Super cute. And then I'm just going to move off the legs. And the arms and you guys you have to try to make it um the same and it's difficult especially if you're a beginner so if you have one um arm or leg that's or ear that's bigger than the other you know what can you do <laughs> practice makes perfect okay so i'm going to be grabbing my brown yarn here i'm going to grab a decent amount of it And it looks like we're going to be doing um, 10 stitches. All, so far all of them have been 6. This time we're going to do 10. So we're going to create the magic loop. And to do that you need the end of the yarn here. And we're going to wrap it around our finger twice. And a little overage so that you can hold it down with your middle finger like that. And then I'm going to stick my needle underneath these three pieces like this and I'm going to pull it back out and I'm going to drag this piece under these two and then I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull that through the loop and that closes off your magic loop you can now remove it off your finger so you guys, if you need me to do that again, feel free to rewind from here. Just to let you know, if you click on the gear on the upper right corner, um, there's a selection to play back this video either um, slower or faster. So you have the choice for doing that. And then also, if you f find that the illustrations or my actions are better than my verbal, um, because I tend to fumble all my words all the time. You could always mute the video so you won't have to hear it. Okay, so what we have to do is we're going to chain one to create the height of the round like that. And then we can start doing our 10 single crochet stitches. And how we do that, I'm just going to walk a couple with you and then do the rest. So um, you put your hook into the magic loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So that's one single crochet stitch. So let's do that again. Put your hook into the magic loop, yarn over, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through, two loops. So now we have two single crochet stitches. So I'm just going to continue doing this eight more times for you guys and then I'll show you how to close off the magic loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now that I've completed 10 stitches and you can count back to make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So this is going to be a little difficult than it was in the second video and the first video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this end piece here, this one here, and I'm going to see which one moves. We have our front loop and we have our back loop. Keep track of which one is going to pull. So I'll start pulling this gently. And I see that the front loop is moving, so I'm just going to start pulling out this front loop from this end here. So pull that out. And then the back loop is going to follow. It's going to start closing in on itself, which is exactly what we want. Okay, see how it's getting smaller and your magic loop is getting, it's closing in on itself. Okay. Once you can't pull anymore, then you can grab the end piece and pull that and watch this disappear. Well. It normally is easier, but maybe I pulled it a little too tight. There you go. Okay. So now your magic loop is closed. So now we can count back 10 stitches and then we're going to do a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I lost my spot, but I think that's 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here, just making sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sorry, this one here. Okay. Front and back loops. We're going to yarn over and then pull through everything. And we closed off our little round there and then I'm going to grab some different color yarn here and I'm going to thread this needle and we're going to stick it in the last stitch we made And then we can start the next round. So in our next round, we have to do um, another 10 stitches. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the height of the round again. And then I'm going to do 10 single crochet stitches.
Then I'm going to remove my marker and do one more single crochet stitch. And then I'm going to count back 10 again and do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you want to flip the prettier side out. It's going to tend to fold in on you. You want to fold it back out. I'm going to mark this again. I'm going to do one more round of 10 stitches. I'm going to make the height, which is one chain, and then 10 single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's remove the marker. So I'm going to count back 10, do a slip stitch, and then we're going to fasten off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. And I'm going to give myself some slack here. I'm going to fasten off by yarning over and pulling all the way out of this loop and tightening it up. Okay, and then you can just tuck this piece in here. Okay. Okay, and then like I said, I have the other ear that I did. Um off frame so we have two ears now so now we have two ears I'm going to set this needle aside we don't need this right now um, we have the two arms two legs and we have our body and now we can assemble so I have, like I said, my black yarn here, and I'm going to thread this through the needle, and we're going to sew on some eyes. What do we have here? Eyes. Oh, I'm not ready yet. What am I talking about? can't do without a, a mouth. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, jumped the gun. Let's put this back. Jeez. Okay. My bad. Let's do the mouth. So this one's easy. We have two rounds of seven. So, again, we're going to do the magic loop. We're going to put our needle underneath here, then grab it back, pulling this one under the two. Then we have to yarn over, pull that through the loop. So, 
we closed off our magic loop we can remove that off our finger and now I'm going to do um, I'm going to do the height of the round and then seven single crochet stitches one two three four five six seven okay. one two three four five six seven again I'm gonna pull this and see which one goes first the front or the back okay Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then I want to mark this off. Then I'm going to make the height of the round and then I'm going to do seven single crochet stitches. I'm going to remove the marker. I'm going to count back seven and we're going to do a slip stitch and fasten off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to flip this inside out because the other side is prettier. And I'm going to tuck this in there. Okay. So now we have all our pieces. <laughs> So now I'm going to pick, I'm going to thread that the black yarn on there. I want to pick a nice side to work with. OK, 
Okay. Try this once. All right. So now I'm going to do, um, hmm, the eyes. And I don't like how they have you do the eyes first. See? Let's so take the body, put on the eyes, then stuff. But I don't like that because I feel like you need to put the this first. Okay. But that's what the instructions show. You know what I feel? I feel it's screw the instructions. Should I? Okay, well I'll do the um, do the eyes first, but I'm just going to place this where I think I want it, just so I can figure out where I want the eyes. And, um, I don't know. Let's put them here. I'm going to put something across like that. That's what I think will look cute. I could be wrong. This is rather a long piece. Okay. So I'm going to try to tie this to where this end piece isn't a lot. Just going to tie it twice. You don't want a huge knot there. Then I'm going to stick my needle in here my crochet needle because I want to try to grab this end piece and stick that in the head. So once I get that done, I want to do another pass with this at that section there. Oh, and I totally pulled it out anyway. Well, I can always fix that. Fix that by doing this again, and we'll do it on this side this time. So this time I'm going to put it back here and maybe have it go up here. And I want to put this under like this. Go here 
I'm going to see if I can um, pop back up on the other side. So... Like that. Let's move this over one more. I'm going to try doing the same thing, like going in a diagonal. And then this time, I'm going to try wrapping this around twice. Try to get it to not... I don't know, you just got to play around with it. And once you have that... Off. And then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to fish this through the head. And there you go. We've got our eyes on here. And they went as far as putting some eyebrows on this guy. So I am just going to it twice and one side I'm going to pull so 
out of here. And then on this side, pull the other. First eyebrow. I'm going to do the other eyebrow. twice like we did on the same side there the other side I mean put your needle through the head grab that excess and pull it through and same thing with this side. So now we have our eyes and our eyebrows. Okay, so next they want you to put on the ears. And I have the ears here. And I have that um, excess brown strand there, so I'm just going to use that. So that's why I had you um, give yourself some slack before cutting off the brown. Let's put some black over there. Now I'm going to take my ear, got to figure out how I'm going to put these on. Let's fold it this way. Okay.
right now I'm just trying to find moments to attach the ear on um, so there's not really any uh, method or anything you just have to feel your way through this and just hope for the best <laughs> And like we did with the eyes, when you're ready to close this off, just pull it through this loop twice so you can create kind of like a knot. Pull that tight. I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to come up from the, the head here. I'm going to sneak it inside. And then we have to do the other side. So you have one ear. Now I'm going to remove this. And then I'm going to thread this needle. Tie it once. Then I'm going to try to find kind of the same
apologies if I was off frame. I can't tell. Now we got the ears. What else we gotta do? Alright. Next we have to do the arms. I'm just gonna remove this. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put this on here. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this is looking cute. Once we have a good spot for it, I'm just going to, again, find moments where you can attach this. like that. Oop. I'm going to try pushing this back. Oh god.
let's see. Try this again. Looks like my arms are going to be going up instead of down. <laughs> okay. What can you do? And I think that's fine, because you know what? It looks like he's asking for a hug. And who doesn't like a teddy bear that doesn't ask for a hug? We all like hugs.
So we have our arms. <laughs> and now we have to do the legs. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna attach these guys. I'm going to sew the other leg.
Okay. Now I never closed this off, so I'm gonna close it off now. To do that, I just kind of weave this in and out of the stitches. That was <laughs> not desirable to look at. Okay, now we have one more piece left, you guys, and then we're done with this teddy bear, but you can already see we've got the arms, the legs, the head, the ears. So we have the mouth here. just have to position it to where it makes sense.
you know, it's very windy outside. Texture's all getting a little crazy over here. Dexter is my cat. ended up pulling it through somewhere else so let me <laughs> grab this and try to fish it through the head again there you go okay. so we got the mouth and then just got to do the little little lines on our mouth Oh, and the nose. So let me see. How do you make the nose? I expected you to sew it on there. Okay, I'm gonna try doing this. And it's been a while. I don't think it came as a bead. So I think they just intended you on to, uh, to sewing it. Oh my gosh. My threading skills have gone down the drain. Alright, hold on guys, let me just feed my cat. Okay, so let's finish this thing. I'm going to do the... The little line here first.
I'll probably try tucking this in. Let me see. When I build the nose.
<laughs> okay, you guys. Here is my finished bear. Not too bad. It, I feel like it's definitely better than the last one that I made. And here's actually the first one that I made. <laughs> Let's move this off here. Oh, look at the difference, you guys. See, and this is first time, second time. Look how different. And mind you, second time after doing all five, six characters that they have. So I had practice by the time I got I did this one. Plus it's left-handed and I told you guys I am a left-handed person. So um, it's just night and day. And that's exactly my point. Um, your first one may not look like this or this. Uh, but I'm telling you, when you start practicing, you can get it a lot prettier. <laughs> um, at least the second time around. Look how cute this is, you guys. They're buddies now. They're twins. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so let me just swap them so that, you know, this is the right hand, this is the left hand. So comment below, let me know what you guys think of this um, teddy bear, the instructions provided versus the video. I, you know, I'm not a certified teacher in anything, but I hope that these videos can be some sort of insight to the complicated instructions that they give you. So yeah, and again, I'm going to be doing um, all the characters in left hand, um, so look out for that. But thank you so much guys for watching, this is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos, and guys, just to let you know, I also do nails, of course. Um, so click that notification bell so that you don't miss a video and I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>